Also want to talk to you about this. Police in the U.S. Virgin Islands launching a criminal investigation into the death of 42-year-old swimming champion Jamie Kale. She was found dead inside the home she shared with her boyfriend last week. Nate Foy is live in our New York City newsroom. He has the details. What do you think happened, Nate? Well, it's tough to say right now, Dana, and a big part of that is because Kale's autopsy is still pending. But here's what we know this morning. The 42-year-old swimming champion was already dead, according to medical staff, when she arrived at that clinic in St. John. But police are now trying to figure out what happened in the hours before that. Police say her boyfriend left a bar just after midnight, the morning of her death. He then found Kale shortly after unresponsive on the floor of their shared apartment. Police say he brought her to the hospital with a friend, where staff indicated she was suffering suffering from cardiac arrest. The U.S. Virgin Islands Police Department released a statement reading in part, quote, hospital staff rendered CPR, but the female succumbed. Now, Kale was originally from New Hampshire. She competed in multiple international swimming competitions for the United States. After a very successful high school and collegiate swimming career, she won gold in the 1997 Pan Pacific Championships. And this morning, USA Swimming tells Fox News, quote, USA Swimming is saddened to hear of Jamie Kale's passing. Jamie was a proud member of our national teams in the late 1990s and was a cherished teammate. We extend our condolences to Jamie's friends and family. Now, the cause of Kale's death is still not known right now. Police are also not identifying her boyfriend. Fox News asked police if he's cooperating with the investigation. But so far, Dana, they are declining to answer any of our questions. We'll send it back to you. Okay, thank you, Nate. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.